Congratulations on your purchase of the Superior Air Products Wet Collector. This video will detail the six steps for a successful quick startup and detail the recommended maintenance schedule on the unit. Plumb 3 quarter inch water line connection to PEX supply line provided or hard pipe connections as desired. You will see two water connections to the unit that have been pre-plumbed from the factory. The left side or manual fill valve is for initial fill only and the right side or auto fill valve controls the water flow during operation of the unit. Prior to startup, open manual fill valve to fill the unit with water. There is a secondary float inside of the unit that will stop the flow of water once it's filled to its appropriate depth. Once the initial fill is complete, it is imperative to keep the valve closed. Do not open it again until the unit is drained during cleanout. Wire the control box to the appropriate power. Either 230 or 460 volt is noted on the control panel. Bump the start and stop button to verify rotations on the blower match the rotation arrow on the side of the unit. The unit is controlled by a pre-programmed PLC unit and three pressure switches. The pressure switches control water levels inside the unit based on static pressure. Per NFPA and OSHA regulations, the superior wet collector will automatically shut down at the low water switch setting or the high water switch setting and display a visual alarm on the control panel. This would signify a situation where water levels are not satisfactory to ensure the proper operation. The middle or nominal pressure switch is the level that dictates the water level the unit will normally operate at. Each of these switches is preset during factory testing, but can also be set in the field at another desired level of operating parameters. Depending on the application, your unit may have regain air that is regulated by the damper plate on the top of the unit. Again, this feature has been preset at the factory for optimal performance. However, if more or less regain air is desired, you can slide the damper plate on the top of the unit open for less regain air and shut for more regain air. If your unit is a downdraft table, it is designed to operate at a minimum of 250 feet per minute of downdraft suction. This can be measured at the table surface and is noted on our quality control check sheet when it's shipped from our factory. If the unit is not performing at that level, the most likely reason is that the fan is running backwards, so please double check that. The only other factor in suction would be the water level. The higher the water level, the less suction the unit will have. Consult the factory if there's a question on water level. Each unit is preset with the settings noted on the quality control sheet sent with the unit. Depending on usage and application, a wet collector must be cleaned out to ensure proper orientation at monthly or bi-monthly intervals. Most customers will use a pump to drain out the sludge collected in the water bath during operation. However, the sludge can be manually raked or scooped out as well. Each unit has a large drain pipe for removing dirty water from the unit if desired. During cleanout, we recommend removing the impinger filters to rinse out or power wash any of the material built up in the fins. These filters are reusable after washing, but we do recommend having a spare set to interchange during cleanout to minimize downtime. During cleanout, it's recommended to spray down any residual buildup or use a plastic scraper to knock down any material buildup that is not easily rinsed off. Once the unit has been cleaned and sludge removed, the water level should be brought back to normal per initial startup guidelines. The unit can now be restarted and operated as normal. Proper maintenance is critical for the performance of the unit and the entire cleanout process usually takes one to two hours with proper equipment.